let's just stop uh, just for a moment before we vote. National Environmental uh, Policy Act it was not signed into law by uh, FBR, not signed into law by Lyndon Johnson, John Kennedy, not signed into law by Barack Obama. It was signed into law by Richard Nixon with bipartisan support, strong bipartisan support, some 50 years ago. The reason for the law, we want, hey, they wanted President Nixon and those who served in the, the Congress to want to make sure that as we're proposing to build and we'll say large infrastructure projects around the country with federal support, we want to make sure that the voices of the, voices of the people whose lives would be affected by that would actually be heard. That was the idea behind doing this. We, uh, I've been on the, uh, in the city, city of Senate about 21, 22 years, serve on the Environment Public Works Committee with S Senator S uh, uh, Simpson and others, and I'm privileged to chair the committee now. And uh, about every year or two, we passed major infrastructure legislation. A year ago, the largest infrastructure bill in the history of the country, roads, highways, bridges, water, drinking water, wastewater, you name it. Uh, just last week, uh, we passed in here by, uh, uh, with one dissenting vote, Water Resources Development Act legislation to reauthorize the Army Corps of Engineers to do projects all over America. And, the, uh, and I live in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. I-95 goes right through Wilmington, Delaware. Cuts my, my city uh, in half. I-95 is being rebuilt for about a five-mile uh, space from about uh, Route 202, which goes up into PA, uh, on down to, uh, to uh, Route 141. Five miles, right through the middle of our major city. It's going to be done in, I think, less than two years. Imagine that. Four lanes, six lanes, all the exits, and, and that's done in two years. And they talk about not being able to get a big project done. We're doing big projects in a little state all the time. And the last thing I would, uh, would say is my, our, our colleagues, uh, uh, Joe Manchin and Lisa Murkowski, co-hosted bipartisan meetings a month or two ago, six or seven or eight of them, uh, in the afternoon to talk about um, a path forward on reconciliation, but also talk about uh, an, uh, an infrastructure legislation, but also to talk about uh, permitting permitting reform. Every time we do a major infrastructure bill, we do permitting reform. We do streamlining. And we have done it. We did it last year. Uh, and we are going to do it again with the, the word of legislation, too. And uh, later, after this sometime this fall, September, October, we will do permitting reform debate and legislation again. We can't do it in the context of reconciliation because the parliamentarian won't let us do that. It has to be a standalone legislation. We'll have the opportunity to do that. People can offer their ideas. We'll debate them. We'll vote him up, and we'll vote him down. I just wanted to add that for the, for the record, uh, Mr. President. With that, I guess we ought to ask for the yeas and nays. Under the previous order, all time has expired. The clerk will read the title of the joint resolution for the third time. 